chat with Bernadette Santacola right now. It was such a great race. Leading, what happened? I don't know. I don't know if Derek just got on the brakes or what. I don't know. Just the uh, way our year's been. Had a great nap Toyota, so uh, come back next week, I guess. Really disappointing, though, have uh, something like that happen right at the end of the race. Well, you jump from a lot of different tracks. How hard is it to adjust from series to series and track to track? <laughs> it's not that tough. Um, you know, mentally, you just got to get your arms around where you're at. And, and this place in particular is very technical. You can overdrive the corners really easy. So the first couple times out, I was just trying to trying to figure out where I was. Your last finish in Canon West was 11th. Guys, I think we'll see him in victory lane tonight. All right, the 551 car behind me here making their first pit stop. Remember, guys, they have to change tires. Scott Tucker did a great job on using those rain tires to the max, but it's time to put slicks on. They'll also be putting fuel in and making a driver change. Thanks, Ray. Joining me at the front of the field, the driver of the number 17 car, David Mayhew. David, you mentioned earlier the challenges of Stockton. One of them that you mentioned that was your major concern was lap traffic. How are you going to battle that tonight? Well, before qualifying on the pole, we were going to follow the leaders through and just see how it went. I didn't think we'd have a car good enough to qualify on pole, but... The American Le Mans Series enters the halfway point of the season here at Road America this weekend. This premier road course is a favorite to many drivers. That's right. Well, let's get our thoughts before green as we get ready to go back to the pits in Bernadette. All right, guys, as we know, there's a lot of factors that go into what makes a driver successful, and it's in this series where they get to figure it out. Drivers and teams work to find that winning combination. A perfect example of that is David Mayhew, who now has Michael Self's former crew chief, C. Point Gay, in his corner. Now, Phil, I know you can expand on this, but this guy knows a thing or two about winning here at Irwindale. She had burned it he certainly does. He so far this season in the k and East and West, if you take the pole, you take the race. Here with me now, Dylan Kwasniewski. How are you going to defend that position here tonight? I'm planning to just uh, lead the entire race. I'd love to hear from the race fans. Let's do it via social media back down trackside for Ask Bernadette. I remember fans, you can tweet me a question at Bernie Sports and I will get it answered on the air. This week it comes from Pierce in Vermont who asked Brandon McReynolds how hard it is living in North Carolina but yet Bill McAnally Racing is in California. What's that like for you? It's definitely hard. You know, the biggest thing is, is just traveling out here to run the snap at Toyota. A lot of jet lag, but you get used to it. 200. You did it last year, you did it this year. What a battle though to the finish with your teammate. That was a race, wasn't it? <laughs> Check your flag there, champion. 